bonus betting strategy video that is going to be allowing you make profit, make good money betting on corners. If you have been wondering how to make money betting on corners, then my friend, please be rest assured that this is the video that is specifically needed and it's going to be allowing you make money just as I've said. In this video, we talk about the following things. Number one, the best two betting websites for getting your corners predictions today. Number two, what to look at when betting on corners. And number three, I will give you a sample of a corners betting option uh, that I'm betting on today. So that being said, ensure that you are subscribing to the Must Better Betting Tips YouTube channel if you have not subscribed. And also ensure that you are turning on notifications and watching our other videos, other betting strategy videos. When it comes to betting strategies, we are actually trying our level best to provide you the best betting strategies each and every other week to ensure that you become a professional and a reliable or a consistent winner when it comes to betting. So let us get started by actually looking at some of the things that we need to look at when betting on corners. I won't start with the basic definition of corners because you know a corners, you can't bet on football and you don't know the meaning of corners. So you know what corners it is, I mean. So in betting at corners, the things that we are actually interested in is like, which team is the stronger one? Which team will, which team has the best uh, goal scorers? Which team is the weaker side? I mean, and then another thing that we are also in, interested in is like looking at their positions in the league. Are these teams playing, are these teams playing this match? Are they like falling on top of the table or they're falling below the table, the bottom part of the table? Or they fall in the middle? The scenarios whereby I mostly bet on corners is when we have a team that is, uh, a team that is, let's say, number two in the league and we have a team, let's say, number 13 in the league. So team number two playing team number 13. In that scenario, we always experience a high number of corners in those games because both teams are going to be attacking. You find that the other team, the team falling at position 13 is going to be putting a lot of defense in the game. And the team putting, falling as number two is going to be striving, attacking uh, consistently. And at the end of the day, we're really going to be having a high number of corners in that match. So basically, those are like some of the few things that you really need to arm yourself with. And then another important one is like looking at the head-to-head -head matches. You need to know how many corners did these teams score the last time before actually playing this game that is in hand. So in total, like let's say like today, we have a game between Borussia Mönchengladbach versus Stuttgart playing under the Germany Bundesliga. I'm going to give you an, a clear example of what I'm interested in before making my prediction. So the first thing that I go and do is like look at the last game that Borussia Mönchengladbach played and see how many corners Borussia Mönchengladbach did actually walk away with. So I see that Borussia Mönchengladbach in its last game, the game had a total of 11 corners and Borussia Mönchengladbach contributed five corners in that match. And then I also went ahead and looked at like, uh, the last game that Mongli Borussia Mönchengladbach played at home. The last game they played at home, Borussia Mönchengladbach had three corners and the total corners in the game were five. And then I go ahead to the Stuttgart side and see how many corners they had in their last game away and their last game at home. So Stuttgart, the last game at home, they had a total of 10 corners, and the game had a total number of 13 corners. And then their last match away, Stuttgart had the following number of corners. They had two corners, and the home team had nine corners. In total, uh, the corners in the game were 11. So once I'm done with that, I'm now going to be looking at the head-to-head -head statistics for Borussia Mönchengladbach and Stuttgart. I am going to be looking at their last two games. Stuttgart, when I see like their last two games with Borussia Mönchengladbach, Stuttgart was playing at home, whereby Stuttgart got five corners, Borussia Mönchengladbach got two corners. The total number of corners was seven. And then I'm also looking at Borussia Mönchengladbach the last time it was playing at home against Stuttgart. So the last time Borussia Mönchengladbach had nine corners, Stuttgart only got one corner. So basically what I can sum up from looking at these two teams is that they have the ability to score a high number of corners. Then I go ahead and look at the standings. Borussia Mönchengladbach is number 11 in the table. Stuttgart is number 15 in the table. What does that tell you? It tells you that these are almost teams of equal strength. And being teams of equal strength, I mean, like, when they're playing against each other, 
the results is likely to be the same. And the likelihood of high number of chances occurring is going to be there. So Stuttgart, Borussia Mönchengladbach, the results are backing it, the statistics are backing it. And so we, we really don't have any doubt because each team has a high capability of scoring corners. You have seen Borussia Mönchengladbach scoring up to as high as nine corners on given games. Stuttgart scoring as high up to nine corners on given games. So when I, what I really go and do is now to go back to 1xbet and look at the odds that they have offered for these betting options. On 1xbet, I see that over 9.5 corners has an odd of 1.82. Over 8.5 over 8 corners has an odd of 1.48. And over 10.5 corners has an odd of 2.3. So it is upon me to decide because this is a game that I'm sure that over 8.5 corners is going to be featuring in. So in case I was betting on an accumulator, I could go for over 8.5 corners to be scored in this match. And if I want to bet single high stake, then I'll only bet on over 9.5 corners to be scored in the game between Borussia Mönchengladbach vs Stuttgart. So today, another thing that I've also realized is that I expect Stuttgart to walk away with the highest number of corners. That is my prediction. Though Stuttgart to win, uh, to get the highest number of corners as an odd of 2.65 and Borussia Mönchengladbach to get the highest number of corners as an odd of 1.7. Anyway, my interest is betting on over. So that is basically how I always come up with these predictions. Now that I've come up with my prediction, I might not be sure. So the next thing I need to do is to go to these two good websites for betting on corners and like compare our results. And the website that I majorly use when it comes to comparing these results are as follows. They are also the best corners prediction websites in the world. The first one, which appears to be like my favorite is known as betmonk.com. When I look at the betmonk.com website, they only specialize on predicting over 9.5 corners and under 9.5 corners. So I go there, I scroll. Uh, so today, you know what? They were not predicting on my Germany Bundesliga game. And so, I don't know why, but their first game is the game between Melbourne Victory versus Newcastle Jets. It's also playing today. You can have a look at it. They are predicting on under 9.5 corners. They have given me the probability whereby they are saying that the chance of under 9.5 occurring in this game is 58%. So in case you are not satisfied with the Betmonk website, you can go ahead and go to the next good website, which is known as footballzz.co.uk. The reason why I also love it is because they offer... Analysis and I mean they just offer reasoning and logic behind their predictions. So my interest is in the same game Melbourne victory versus Newcastle Jets They are saying that Newcastle Jets has over eight corners in their last eight games And so they are betting on over 8.5 corners and then when you look at the other website That was Betmonk. Betmonk was predicting that Melbourne victory versus Newcastle Jets We are expecting under 9.5 corners. So that will tell you basically one thing that this is a game that is tough to predict on So if you're a wise punter if you're a wise better you will ignore the game and look for a game whereby like at least the two websites are predicting on the same thing. So that is how you basically use these two websites to come up with good predictions. And I'm also trying to look if they're predicting my game Borussia Mönchengladbach versus Stuttgart. Unfortunately, they are not predicting it. But all in all, they have a wide number of amazing options. And one thing I want to tell you that footballzz.co.uk is very good when it comes to Particularly predicting over 8.5 corners. Over 8.5 corners most of the time has an odd of 1.3 to around 1.56. So you can just pick them. I mean form your multi-bet. And at the end of the day, be guaranteed of getting something meaningful. So those are the two best betting prediction websites. Remember there are a lot of options you can bet on when it comes to corners. Halftime corners, who will score the first corner. I mean corners to occur in the first minute. And by the way, I was forgetting almost one. Th I was forgetting something important. You see these games like Champions League. When you look at them, there's always this amazing option. The first corner to appear in which minute. Uh, the, th that is also a good option because it always comes with a high number of odds. You find that majority of these games, we always have like the first corner occurring even before like the 10th minute. And the odd will be 1.80. And that is going to be a very good option to bet on in World Cup, which is starting on 20th November. Uh, so, when World Cup starts, be rest assured that I'm going to be providing you these betting options every other single day. 
I mean, it's an amazing option. You will watch it. You will, you will come to you will come to enjoy it, my friends. I'm telling you because I did it when we were betting on the World Cup qualification qualifi World Cup qualification games, and it did work. So I'm expecting it also to work in the World Cup time. So what do you need to do? You need to do what you need to do right now is subscribe, turn on notifications, and be rest assured to always check on our videos every other single day because World Cup starts. Very soon, in less than 20 days, we are having the World Cup games, and I don't want you to miss these amazing betting options. It's very tough to bet on the home win, away win option in World Cup, and even if you do bet on them, they also want to be that sufficient for you to make profit. That is why we are looking at other areas of betting, like corners option, to allow you leverage betting and make money, particularly through the World Cup. If you love the video, my friend, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. I'm trying my best. To make you a better better or a better punter or a better gambler. Like the video and share it with a friend. So until next time, I do say adios and goodbye.